my friends this is Dave Alexander here and it's another forex market preview we're gonna look for the following week uh, June 11th till Friday 15th so let's start with the news uh, what what, I'm, what we're gonna expect uh, for the, from the next week so we're gonna have some uh, inflation data from the US as well there will be the inflation data from Britain and uh, what is the most important thing what I'm waiting for is on the Wednesday because we're gonna have a FOMC there's gonna be a lot of news and there will be the votes about the uh, high interest rates so it's probably gonna happen but uh, let's see what's gonna be the market reaction on that and uh, what else is there in this in that following week uh, i'm interested in to see how gonna affect uh, how gonna affect uh, these news uh, uh, the australian dollar and as well what we're gonna have is the Draghi and the ecb conference uh, it's gonna be as well interesting let's see what's gonna do that and uh, the last thing the friday is going to be about uh, Japanese yen so I think that we could have uh, we could see the strengthening the Japanese yen and then uh, let's see what's gonna happen on this one so the following week is gonna be pretty interesting for the news uh, let's see how it's all gonna be played and now let's uh, go to the charts so we will start as usually as the dollar index so what do we have here we have uh, this daily downtrend line uh, broken which created new supply zone it was retested and dollar is dropping now on the four hours chart we can see that uh, here it already established the downtrend and now we are sitting in this demand zone however uh, the dollar is dropping it's not uh, with uh, some big force because if we are looking uh, to the COT data we can see that uh, uh, the banks uh, they closed some shorts and they closed some long so there is not any big big exposure and uh, the average of, of the last two months is 50 50 so there is not any big uh, any big uh, force to move the price down however uh, however it's still dropping and technically it could still drop even lower because on the weekly time frame where we have uh, this broken trend line and we have this one leg up and uh, the price was reacting on this uh, daily supply zone so now we could potentially drop lower where could the banks uh, add more longs because if we look again uh, to the COT data we can see that uh, they still not uh, they, they are still not full exposure for the longs which i expect it's gonna happen but uh, probably not for now so i think they need to go uh, with the price lower uh, where they will be adding more longs so you can see that uh, if the price is dropping price is dropping they are adding the longs you can see that the net positions are rising so i think this could be still dropping even lower but let's see what the gonna fomc makes uh, with uh, this uh, dollar next week gold is in the uptrend on the weekly time frame but uh, drop it from this monthly uh, supply zone which is holding the price uh, a lot of uh, for a lot of weeks and still not able to break it or create new higher high which created a new weekly supply zone from where the price dropped uh, in the past weeks uh, when uh, the dollar was uh, strengthening but right now on the daily we can see that we are still in this uh, range and moving the sideways however i expect as this trend line was broken uh, i potentially want to see the gold going to the three and 318 levels what do i see here is that uh, the volume was a bit rising uh, uh, when they was trying to break uh, through this uh, through this uh, trend line but right now when is it moving sideways uh, the volume is not uh, any convincing uh, what i see on the cot chart is uh, very interesting because uh, what actually happened here is that the banks they closed longs last week 
and uh, they closed the shorts as well but they reducing uh, the shorts a lot and uh, the overall the longs are uh, wrong, longs are rising so what do i see that the shorts are going down and the longs are rising so the potentially move up uh, is here however as we have uh, the dollar weakening this should be going up so let's see what's gonna happen next week uh, with this FOMC because it will definitely affect the gold as well out Australian dollar US dollar so we, it, this chart is very similar with the gold because it's very correlated as in the Australia we have a lot of gold mines so this chart looks a bit similar so we have a weekly uptrend line which was broken pair reacted on this weekly monthly demand zone and it moved up but uh, here we have this weekly supply zone which is uh, which is uh, doing this uh, big rejection so you can see that the pair dropped again and it's now sitting in this zone so what do i expect now uh, if we look uh, to the if we look closely to the daily time frame what do we have here is a strong downtrend and now we are reacting uh, in this zone uh, which is uh, which is below this uh, downtrend line sorry it's not a nice one but it reacted here with the confluence of this supply zone and part is there is not moving anywhere now uh, well, on the four hour time frame we can see this drop uh, drop closely from this uh, supply zone so it's dropping now now reacting in the supply zone and potentially i want to see it drop even even more and why do i think this could happen is uh, because uh, if we look to the cot data this is very simple so the banks are still maintaining a lot of shorts however they have uh, they have more shorts than longs so of course we can see that but uh, the in the average in the average yes so the average is the two months average is 50 per 52 percent for shorts and they are 58 percent for shorts and two months uh, two months average for the longs is 48 and they are 42 so i still see more bearishness coming here uh, so this uh, this uh, monthly demand zone could be potentially again retested however uh, what is still possible you know that the banks they own a big capital so even when the price uh, when the market could be going up they still could be adding the shorts and uh, maintaining the price higher before they before they close the longs and price drop even lower so for me at this moment uh, i don't expect the pair go too much higher if even it could happen but if the australian dollar is going up it's only because of the weak dollar however these obstacles as this uh, supply zone and these trend lines and downtrend on the daily um, i'm not interested to go long so i stay away of this pair Now we are looking to the euro. Euro is uh, nicely strengthening after the druggy speech, as everybody says, because it broke uh, this trend line, and uh, the banks are adding more longs. I don't think it's because of the druggy speech. Uh, banks are doing what they want to do, and whatever druggy say, it doesn't affect the market. But uh, everyone has a different, different uh, theory about how the market works. What works for me is that I see that the, the market reacted on this free monthly free month supply zone from where the market dropped lower. It broke through this uh, weekly trend line and now it's reacting in this zone which uh, which has uh, which caused to removal of this zone of this previous high. I can actually show you something interesting on the daily time frame where actually we have uh, we have this demand zone and uh, why is this zone so important because if you look uh, if you look into the previous uh, previous um, 
consolidation which was uh, almost two years consolidation so what do we see here we see this consolidation so market was going here and then then uh, we have this uh, last supply which has which has the high here and if we look uh, closely if we look really, really closely into the chart where was the last moment where uh, where the market accumulated the power it was here it was here the power was accumulated uh, here before it breaks through this one and now watch what happened market breaks then it went down again exactly on the one pip it reacted here and then it went up again it came into that uh, supply zone in the three months supply zone, supply zone and then when it drops again it reacted again on this level so this level this this level is somehow important for the banks i don't know why uh, but uh, it is so uh, it must be respected and we can see that it reacted pretty strongly here and uh, now it's uh, the market is going up and it removed it uh, removed uh, this supply zone created this new one a demand zone which could be potential nice level for the move higher all of these is still as well supported with the banks numbers so what do i see they added last week nice longs 999k longs but as well they added some shorts so what does it tell me that tells me that uh, they are preparing for the shorts and what do i expect uh, in the long term time on the euro is that uh, if we look uh, on this uh, free on this uh, weaker time frame as i said we have this free month supply zone control so the force is down now we are reacting in this level which we saw here which breaks through that, through that uh, previous uh, previous consolidation now the market is moving higher and the uh, banks are adding the longs and as well they are adding the shorts so what they potentially doing is that they are going up and they are adding the shorts for the, to create nice average price to go even deeper into this weekly monthly and three monthly nested supply zone demand zone sorry which is very strong level and this could potentially happen only the question is when it gonna happen so they went up now they went up again boom and they adding as again the shorts and then they will probably i think that's gonna happen it's gonna happen and so what do we see we see this uh, probably someone can call it head and shoulders uh, i don't try this but it's probably it's gonna could happen as well but in the confluence uh, uh, how how do i expect that so it's how how i'm gonna time this trade is that i will wait uh, for the for the confluences with the dollar index so what do i want to see i think that uh, this is gonna happen this drop on the euro when the dollar gonna get strength again and the dollar gonna get strength probably when it comes here and this is the level where the market makers want to go want to go longs so when this is gonna happen then on the euro usd we will probably we will probably see this uh, preparation for this long for these shorts so we will probably see here something similar only the opposite so we will see the move up and then they move down of course the euro is not the only one market who is driving who, who, only one currency which is driving the market so this probably could be as well uh, in the confluence with the pound so uh, the pound is very similar chart something similar happening so i'm expecting as well and when both uh, these uh, charts will be uh, in the supply zones and the cot data will be confirming it to me then i will be interested uh, to getting into the shorts we are looking to the pound what do we see here is the weekly broken uptrend dropping from this brexit supply zone and dropping lower market reacted on this daily demand zone moving higher breaking through the trend line 
creating new demand zone which is potential for the blocks higher what do we see on the four hours time frame we have this four hour trend line which is broken created a new demand zone which broke through that we had move up retest again another move up creating new demand again retested and again and now we are in this zone <coughs> retesting so it's very similar as a euro but for me what do i expect is that this one could go even higher because the structure here on the weekly here is nothing here is nothing what should step us stop us to go even higher so i will be looking for the potential potential confluences between these two pairs and as well with the cot if we look we have uh, added a nice 6000 longs as well we have added 10000 shorts so what does it say we can see that they are more exposure to the shorts while we are going up so similar as the previous chart so the pro probably the market makers are moving higher adding shorts and they will be looking to drop here into this monthly supply zone however i expect this drop but uh, the question is where it's gonna happen it could be here it could be here or it could be even on the top so for now i stay with the blocks with the longs and uh, i'm waiting for my time to take a shot this is a kiwi new zealand dollar versus us dollar so what do we have here we have a weekly downtrend because we have a lower low we end again and now but we have here the reaction in this weekly demand zone and as well here is the monthly trend line which was uh, as we can see which was overshoot but this is not still broken because i need full body candle closed uh, below the trend line but if we look all of these candles this one is touching this one is touching this one is touching and this one is even closing above so what, the, what does it tells me is that uh, they don't want to go low they want to go up again and on the daily 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 uh, time frame we have broken trend line we have uh, created new one we have a nice demand zone for the potential longs higher and all of this is uh, as well supported with nice with nice uh, cot data where do i see that the banks are adding the long trades the long orders and they closed shorts so and they are not so overly in the average they are not so overly exposure for the longs but uh, they have more shorts in the in the two months average however technically uh, the longs are still potential so for now uh, if you don't have long yet i would better wait a bit lower for the potential move up this is the us uh, dollar canadian dollar here is very tricky situation however this just need the time to happen what should happen so weekly we have an uptrend uh, monthly we have a downtrend line which is now holding the price uh, below here and as well here is this daily supply zone in the confluence so market is somehow trying to break through it even the dollar is weak uh, us dollar is weak you can see that uh, the canadian dollar is even weaker because we have daily uptrend here and so what is happening here now is that uh, we can see uh, as i repeat again we have this uh, monthly downtrend line and we have this daily trend line so the market is in some so-called the wedge uh, on the four hours time frame i could potentially see the drops lower into these daily zones where i will be potentially looking for the longs 
and uh, from the COT data if I check that what is here so we can see that, uh, that the market makers added some longs last week but as well they added some shorts however they are more or uh, more uh, exposure to for the longs but in the average uh, not so much not so much in the average they are more exposure for the shorts like one percent more than the average so uh, it's uh, in the confluence with the technicals uh, i see that uh, this monthly monthly trend line has more value than this daily trend line so what the, what the potential could happen is that we will see the break lower where will be the price hold it with this uh, three months demand zone which is now in the control so these levels these areas uh, around 126 27 will be very important and uh, the market will be potentially uh, accumulating the power be before it breaks higher so let's see how this one is gonna be played so for now short term shorts US dollar Japanese yen we have monthly downtrend weekly downtrend and this is the trend line which is holding the price lower now as well with confluence of this supply zone on the weekly time frame on the daily we have uh, this broken uptrend created new supply and now is the market uh, consolidating here but what for the confirmation we need to create uh, another lower low which is not happening yet and uh, what do i expect now as i said on the beginning i think that the market could go higher to retest these levels again and then from there we could potentially see the drop lower why do i think this as well not only because uh, of the these technicals as well what's giving me the clue that all these moves up i see that the volume is dropping yes yeah? so the potential when this move uh, move up is not supported with the volume however this one with this down we can see that there was this first impulse and to break and then you know just losing the energy however uh, if I look to the to the COT, so what we see is uh, that the banks last week, which is very interesting, they closed 20,000 uh, around 15,000 to 16,000 shorts longs. Sorry, they closed a huge amount of the longs as well. They closed uh, the shorts. So what they probably doing is that uh, they are offloading the longs, and uh, it was in the report. It was in this uh, in in this area. So they offloading the longs. Why would they do that? Because they won't probably go to the short. If we look uh, to the averages, so we can see that in the two month average we have 54 percent. Uh, longs however they are just 52 and uh, we have 46 percent shorts however they are now 48 so in the average of last two months they are more exposure for the shorts while the market is moving up that could mean that they are moving the price higher with the low volume where they will be probably adding more shorts before this drop looking to the swiss franc so what do we see here we have this monthly downtrend line which was the broke which was broken and now is holding price uh, just above that we have as well this weekly trend line which was broken from this zone which where was the all power accumulated to break through this weekly trend line and the daily trend line that means that uh, this zone is very important and powerful if the market drops lower here i would be very interested to take a longs here so for now we have this uh, weekly supply zone and the monthly supply zone which is uh, retested already second time and it's holding price uh, between this supply zone and these trend lines and this zone so 
Uh, on the on the daily, if we look at it closely, we can see that we broke through this trend line from the supply zone and market is dropping now. However, I don't think it's dropping because the franc is strong. I think it's happening because of the weak uh, dollar. So if we look uh, to the COT data, what do we see here is that uh, the banks, they closed longs, they closed uh, like 8000 longs, but they as well closed the shorts in the last week. However, they are still more exposure to uh, like 12% uh, mm, like more than the two months average and the shorts are uh, like uh, 7 12% long should less than the short average which means that they want to go longs in this moment and in this moment what does it tells me however price is dropping lower and uh, that could, that could mean that when the price is dropping they could be adding more longs and they could be building the position so this is like the long term view and now we are in this uh, weekly demand zone which removed which removed this weekly supply zone this level removed this level so we are in the strong level now however i think that the dollar weakness still could continue so they could uh, potentially drop uh, even lower which is uh, this level so let's see how this one gonna be played. We already have a short uh, in my in my signal group, and we going lower. And if you if you're not in a trade at the moment, uh, I would wait maybe for some retest of this supply zone and then drop lower. With the Swiss franc, it's uh, as well uh, this weekend they have uh, in the Switzerland they have the referendum where the people will be vo voting about the future monetary system in the switzerland which is something really really unique and uh, it's uh, what they speaking about it's never happened uh, somewhere else so what do i think about uh, about this you know i don't know actually don't know i actually don't know what to think but for me it's important to see the bank's positions and i see that they want to go long so however this uh, this referendum will be uh, I believe that uh, they will still be maintaining uh, what they what is their plan maybe to drop the price and then go up uh, so we will see however it will be it could probably bring the volatility to the Swiss franc so this is all for the for the for the COT reports and the cross pairs now I'm looking to the uh Aussie cat so what do I see here we have this reaction from the from the monthly demand zone and the price moved higher however we've been rejected by this supply zone and now the price is just testing this uh, daily demand zone again so what could potentially happen is the move higher because uh, we have uh, as well the four hours is an uptrend and we have nice zone for the potential longs however as i said before i expect the canadian dollar gets stronger a bit now and the uh, aussie is not uh, convincing me to go long so potentially like it's some short term long yes it could be uh, however not uh, any big targets even this could happen but uh, I am not interested in taking this trade. Maybe someone else, but not me. This is the Aussie Kiwi. Aussie Kiwi, we have uh, this daily uh, trend line which is being broken now and we have this supported, supporting level now. So let's see how it's gonna be played here. However, I expect uh, if I'm looking to the market structure on the on the Aussie and on the Kiwi, Kiwi is uh, stronger as well the COT data is better for the Kiwi so I believe uh, we will potentially see the drop lower as well here on the 4 hours chart you can see that we have this broken trend line and the market is dropping so if the, if the market uh, will come back again which I think it's gonna happen you can potentially take a short trade and uh, the benefit on this one 
Euro Aussie. This one is pretty good because we can see uh, we can see reaction from this daily demand zone. However, we are still below this downtrend line. However, and on the four hours, this one because we had the low, low, low. Then we break higher from this demand zone, and now this uh, this trend line is maintaining the price higher. So. What I expect uh, in the long term that the euro could be stronger than the than the Aussie. So if the price drop lower here, we could potentially see the move higher. Euro cat, uh, we have a daily trend line broken and price is moving higher. However, this supply zone holds the price lower. Now we are sitting on the daily demand zone and on the four hours we have the uptrend and this uh, demand zone created for the potential longs however i would not take uh, with with the big targets because on the weekly we have this trend line broken and being retested so i don't want to take longs in this broken trend line yes maybe maybe if we have uh, if this candle if uh, this candle looks like looks like something like this if we have close uh, above then i would be waiting and taking the longs but uh, this doesn't happen it's closing below so the potential it could go even lower and then maybe higher it's the question but for now this one in this shorter time frame with the small target on the top of here could work Euro Yen, we have nice weekly downtrend with this nice supply zone as well. On the daily, we have nice downtrend with uh, this supply zone as well here. And uh, for hours, we had had we had uptrend, and the trend line is now broken, and it created a supply zone here as well. So I should update it. I should actually do this because here is the power where it was accumulated for this break so this could be nice level around these areas for the shorts lower this pair definitely for the shorts because i expect a strong strong yen this is the pound aussie we had a nice reaction from this daily and the weekly demand zone which uh, moved price higher however we still have downtrend here so not longs now because if you don't have a long from here you still could be in the danger before it breaks higher as i said i expect a week weak kiwi with the pair the seal data and as well it's below this uh, supply zone and on the four hours we have as well already the uptrend established so if these zones are broken which could happen when this, when this is broken then the breakout traders they enter the market and the market start dropping lower to take their stop losses so they start to close the positions when they closing the positions banks gonna buy it from them and then it will go higher so on the retest after this one is removed and if this one is removed it means that this one that this uh, uh, trend line will be probably broken so it could be something like yeah and here so definitely longs but uh, it's a bit late now so wait for the collection pound cat is a similar situation the reaction from the daily trend line uh, from the daily uh, demand zone, sorry, and we have moved higher, however, as well, we have this trend line here. So, what could happen now? Some sideway movement before it breaks higher. However, on the weekly, we have this broken downtrend, market is going down, and uh, this, uh, this uh, strong engulfing candle is the, what is the holding price. Uh, I think that still we could see the retest of this demand zone and then potential move higher but uh, for now let's see how this one will be played
found then uh, what do we see here is that uh, on the weekly we had uh, this broken trend line and as well we have uh, already the downtrend established because we had a great low and a lower low and this is the lower high now the market is retesting this uh, supply zone where the power was accumulated for this break lower and uh, it, uh, it gave us nice rejection so on the weekly we as well the nice downtrend and on the four hours it's taking through this trend line so the potential retests uh, of these zones and for the move lower it's potentially could happen with the strong yen coming into the market this could be very nice trade This is the pound kiwi, pound kiwi on the weekly, broken weekly, weekly trend, however on the monthly it's uptrend, but we are still pretty far from this trend line and from the zone from where could, uh, the longs could be taken. So uh, now we reacted on this daily demand zone and moving sideways. On the 4 hours we have already the higher low and the higher high. So I had to draw the trend line and it could potentially move higher and this is the only the target where I would uh, target my longs because uh, I still see the potential of this break lower. Let's see how the pound will be played in the following weeks and uh, these trades however taking the longs with big targets uh, it's not clever I think. Yeah, and this is the last one. This is the Kiwi Cat. Uh, Kiwi Cat, uh, we had a nice uh, this run up after this trend line break and the reaction on this uh, level. So, what is this level? This level is this uh, weekly demand zone which has uh, achieved the break of this trend line. You can see that this is the part. this is the zone where the, we had this nice run, but. When this uh, aggressive trend line was broken, we had to create a new supply zone and this is where I think the market is heading now. However, it's a little bit lost the steam now uh, around these regions and uh, we are getting the move lower, which is all fine. I'm still holding my long because I entered it here and uh, if the market drops lower, I will be looking for the taking the another longs because I already have one and I will want to add another one. For short time uh, to traders if this uh, weekly trend line will be broken, retested, then you can potentially take a trade uh, but not with any big targets because as you can see this confluence of this level is that uh, this level is here. So potential the force could come back into the game again because we can see that from here the volume was pretty high and here as well so here is the volume and it's supporting this level as well so this is actually all opportunities what do i see on the markets uh, at the moment uh, and uh, I will be updating daily in my telegram channel where I want to invite everyone. Yeah, as you can see in my telegram channel I'm posting all of these detailed uh, information about the trades, about the opportunities and uh, you can benefit on that. There is a lot of a lot of analysis I add daily as well I'm adding some of the motivation things uh, which I'm creating for me I now I created like hundreds of them uh, which is good I like it to read it and uh, yeah so all of, all of all of it is here the telegram channel is only about uh, all these informations there is uh, really everything as well uh, the results uh, yeah so everyone is invited into my telegram channel a link you can see in the post 
and uh, as well in my uh, cha into my channel about the robot trading where actually I'm posting uh, all the settings for my robots uh, how do we trade how do we have results uh, what to do now and uh, how to set the portfolio how to do everything about that and yeah so as I said again everyone is invited I'm looking forward forward to you to join me and this is it I wish you the great rest of the weekend and bye bye